I love making sweet potato casserole with toasted marshmallows for Thanksgiving. But why do I only make it once a year? And why is it that I only make sweet potatoes during dinner time? Well, that's all about to change. Today, I'm partnering with Quaker Oats to bring you sweet potatoes with toasted marshmallows for breakfast with the scrumptious overnight oats recipe. First, I'll start by preheating my oven to 375 degrees. Now, I'll clean and rinse my sweet potato. I found this cute baby sweet potato that's the perfect size for this recipe. I'll cut it in half lengthwise, put it on my baking sheet, and bake it for 45 minutes until it's fork tender. Once it's cooled, in a small bowl, I'll mash my baked sweet potato with a quarter cup of low-fat Greek yogurt, two teaspoons of dark brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a pinch of salt, then mash it together until it's creamy and smooth. Then I'll set it aside. Now in another bowl, I'll combine a one-to-one -one ratio of dairy milk and rolled oats. I'm using half a cup of Quaker Oats standard old-fashioned oats, half a cup of low-fat milk, and then half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'll give it a stir and let it sit for about five minutes for it to start absorbing. Now to prepare everything, I'm using two small mason jars where I'll put the sweet potato mixture at the bottom and then fill half a cup of oat mixture into each. I'll add a little bit more of the sweet potatoes, seal it, and let it sit six hours to overnight in the fridge. In the morning when I'm ready to eat it, I'll just top it with a quarter cup of marshmallows and an eighth cup of chopped pecans. I love the toasty experience of the sweet potato casserole, so I'll recreate it by putting my mason jar under the broiler for two to three minutes until the marshmallows puff up and brown. Mmm, I love the crunchiness of the pecans and the sweetness of the marshmallows and the warm spices mixed with the sweet potatoes and oats. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.